Hello and welcome back to the channel Geeks for Geeks Practice. Myself Abhinav Avasti and this is the ninth day of our thirty days streak of solving SD seat. Yeah, today we are not live because today is Diwali. So first of all, happy Diwali to everyone who are watching this and who are following me for from the last nine days uh, to this complete SD seat journey. Thank you everyone for giving us this huge support. For those who don't know that what is this SD seat like, what is this streak? Let me first tell you that we are we will be solving geeks for geeks SD seat for complete thirty days, and in which I will solve three problems in live lectures, live sessions on YouTube, and I will give you three problems at homework. Basically, we are solving six problems per day, and we will be doing this for complete thirty days. And after thirty days, the top ten who will be very interactive who will solve all the homework problems who will be interactive in the session who will be, who will be interacting uh, interactive uh, in the session and will be solving problems the top 10 person will get free geeks for geeks course, co course coupons from us so that is what we are having you can see this is the discord channel where you have to upload the problem for complete detail you can check out the first video of our first or second video of our this history Where you can get the complete detail how you can participate in this thirty days challenge. So because today is Diwali, so first of all, everyone, please mark your attendance as commenting down that yeah you are present so that I can know that yeah you have watched your video and please comment down and mark your attendance. So today what we are going to do is that today we will be having only one problem in this video because yeah I know today is Diwali and you all have to celebrate. So we will I will will not give you much work. We will solve just uh, just one problem in this life, which will be also a basic problem, not very hard. And also, we will be having, uh, we will be also having just one homework problem also. Okay, so that is what we are going to have today. We will be not having three problems for today. Okay, that that's exception. Just for as you can see, the Diwali gift is there. Okay, so that is what we have. Okay. So the problem is that we have to find the first repeating character. So we are given with a string, and we have to find the first character which is repeating, which is repeating. You can see that the example is of geeks for geeks. If I will just take the example of geeks for geeks, what I will take? I will just take the example geeks, or let me write it in a good way. Geeks for geeks. You can see K is also repeating. K is also present two times. T e is present four times. G is present two times. There are multiple characters which are which whose frequency is more than one. But we have to find the first character, the first repeating character. So what we will do, you can see that as we will go on, where there is a G, then there is a E, then E is repeating. That means E is the first repeating character, and that is what we have to return. We have to return that first repeating character. So. For this, what we will do? Because we have to find a frequency, basically. So we will do. We will take a hash, a hash map technique, or we can say a map. What we will do? We will take a map. So first, we have a G. We will make the map value of our G. Let's say our map is uh, nothing but a uh, MP. So we will make it one. Then we have a E. So I will make the map value of this E to one. Then you can see I again have a E. Again having a E means that E is repeated. Why? How we can check that we have got E again? Means if it is repeated because we have already the map value of it is one. So whenever we will got this case, we will just return that particular value. That is what is given here. It is saying if there is no such character, return minus one. Okay. It is saying if there is no such character, please return minus one. So now let's code this approach. How we can solve this particular problem? You can see here what we can do is we first of all we will have a map. It can be of character comma int. Okay, and uh, it will be named MP. We will just iterate through a complete string. This is a iterator method of uh, iterating a string. So if you have any doubt, you can check it out how we can iterate. I have, I have also used this method in the previous video, so you can check that of our complete string. Okay. So what I will do if the map value of this character is already one, is already one. That means this character is already repeated. This character is repeated. In that case, what we will do? We will take a string answer. We will just add this character into it, and we will return that. Okay. 
else what we will do if it is not one so we will make that to one that yeah we have got this character one and if the case is if the case is that for means no such character is repeating there is no character which is repeating In that case we will just return minus one we'll just return minus one that is what we have here that is what we have here okay so if you will run this code you can see we have got the right answer we will submit it you can see all the test cases have been passed if we talk about the time complexity and space complexity of this particular solution you can see that time complexity is order of n because we are just iterating through a complete state and space complexity is also order of n because we are taking a map we are taking a map okay or, or uh, means order of not order of n it it will be basically order of at max 26 because means there are only 26 characters in alphabet now and we are having lower case character writing so that means that the, it will be just order of 26 at max so we can also take a frequency array so in that case when we will use a frequency array the the array size will be constant it will be just order of 26 so it will be just order of 1 means the constant space so we can say that at our space is constant it is order of 1 and our time complex is just order of n so that is what we can do here and that is how we have solved the problem the link for the homework problem will also you will find in the description only or if it is not present in the description i will share you in the discord group only so just be active in the discord group you will find the link of the discord in the description box and if you want more detail of this particular series this this third is trick you can please check out my second video of this third is trick where i have explained everything in detail okay so that is what we have and this is the problem which is common elements this is also based on, on the same technique in on this map and hashing technique only you can surely check it out and this was the problem we have, which we have solved and this is the homework problem so okay guys happy diwali to everyone okay i hope that aapka festival acha ho and uh, all the best for this uh, problems also and let's meet with the next videos later and for today happy diwali enjoy thank you